This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the physical properties of materials. The physical properties of a material depend upon the bonding and structure of the material. The physical properties we look at are melting point, which is the temperature at which a material changes state from solid to liquid. Permeability, which is a measure of the ability of a porous material to allow fluids to pass through it. Electrical conductivity, which is a measure of the ability of a material to conduct an electric current. Elasticity, which is the ability of a material to resist stress and to return to its original size and shape when the stress is removed. And finally, brittleness, which is the tendency of a material to fracture or fail upon the application of a relatively small amount of force. We'll start by looking at the properties of metals. Metals have high melting points which depend on the strength of the metallic bond. They have low permeability. They are good electrical conductors due to the delocalized electrons that are free to move within the metallic structure. Metals have low elasticity. Brittleness is also low. Metals are malleable and ductile. The layers can slide over each other when metals are bent, hammered or stretched without breaking the metallic bond. Next we look at polymers. Thermoplastics have low melting points. Thermosetting plastics do not melt, instead they burn at high temperatures. The permeability of polymers depends on the polymer. Polymers have low electrical conductivity. Elastomers are flexible polymers that can be deformed under force but return to their original shape once the stress is removed. And some thermosetting plastics are hard and brittle. Next we have ceramics. Ceramics have high melting points due to the strong ionic and covalent bonds. They can be porous as there are gaps in the structure. The electrical conductivity and the elasticity of ceramics are both low. Brittleness is high. A shear force moves one layer of ions relative to another so that ions of the same charge are opposite each other. And finally we have composites. Composites have high melting points depending on the constituent materials. They can be porous as there are gaps in the structure. The electrical conductivity is low unless the structure contains metals or graphite which have delocalized electrons. Elasticity is low except carbon fiber which shows some elastic properties. And brittleness is generally low but depends on the constituent materials. 